Giuliani to make his appearance before the grand jury on August 9th. A lawyer for Giuliani did not immediately respond to a request for comment. This is all connected to Georgia District Attorney Fannie Willis's investigation, which just this week subpoenaed nearly a dozen of Georgia's fake electors. Giuliani played a key role in the efforts to try and overturn the election in Georgia, not only being part of the scheme to create false electors in a number of states, but even appearing in front of two Georgia legislative committees in December of 2020, pushing false conspiracy theories about secret suitcases full of Democratic ballots oh, and corrupted voting machines. I mean, again, uh, all, all gleaned and all repeated on uh, Chinese mm. religious cult websites that, that people would eat up uh, and uh, Trumpers would eat up and believe. But Mike Barnacle, uh, this is what we've seen with Lindsey Graham uh, trying to BS his way out of the subpoena, trying to stop from going uh, to testify. Uh, same with Rudy Giuliani. This is so par for the course of what's been going on, where Rudy Giuliani would hold a press conference outside of a federal courthouse, talk about how, you know, there was widespread voter fraud, and then he would go in and the judge would say, is there whites, are you, are you alleging there's widespread voter fraud? And Giuliani would go, no, Your Honor. I mean, again, it, it's, you know, the old saying, you know, Money talks, BS walks. Well, you know, these Trumpers, uh, all their press conferences, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that walks. It's once you, you get inside of a courtroom, uh, you see they lose time after time after time, whether judges were appointed by Donald Trump or appointed, you know, by Bill Clinton. You know, Joe, looking at Rudy Giuliani, even now in the clips that we were just showing, uh, there's a sadness to Rudy Giuliani that's, that's almost mystifying. You wonder what happened to this guy in the course of several years in his attraction to Donald Trump. Was it a search for relevance? Is that what Giuliani was looking for? Was it's it just a search for, for prominence again? But I mean, clearly, uh, you know, something is off there and has been off with Rudy Giuliani for quite some time. I mean, running around the country tr proposing, you know, fraudulent electors in different states, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Georgia, things like that. Uh, the mystifying press conference in front of a porn shop, uh, you know, oh outside of Philadelphia. The, uh, you know, trying to cling to the myth that, you know, well, this election was corrupted by Venezuela and other countries. Just crazy, literally crazy, crazy stuff. This guy has put so much distance between himself and his behavior in New York City on September 11th, where he was legitimately acknowledged to be heroic in terms of his response to what happened that day. Uh, you just wonder what in the world happened to Rudy Giuliani. Well, there's no answer to Mike's question there, but to underscore that, as someone who was in New York City on September 11th, people forget just how poorly Giuliani polled the day before that attack. New York was ready to say goodbye to him, and within 24 hours or so, was indeed transformed a hero, and even those who don't like him now still are grateful to his performance in those hours after the attacks. But he finds himself now, David Ehrenberg, in some legal peril. So walk us through here just what he faces, you know, in this particular case, and if you see other legal trouble on the horizon for the man who used to be known as America's mayor. Jonathan, I think that of all the people who are being targeted by the grand jury in Fulton County, it's Rudy Giuliani who's most likely to be prosecuted. And that's because my counterpart up there in Atlanta, uh, Fannie Willis, has previously said that she is reviewing the making of false statements to state and local governmental bodies. And as you and Joe had said, yeah, I mean, he went before the uh, committees in the Georgia legislature and he lied to their faces. He went on a misinformation tour around the country. But in Georgia, he said that more than 10,000 dead people voted. He said that poll workers were counting fake ballots out of suitcases. And those, those false statements made to those legislative bodies could get you up to five years in state prison under Georgia law. So that's what he's facing. And that's why if he doesn't comply with the subpoena, he gets criminally charged for that. Or if he doesn't 
take the Fifth Amendment before the grand jury, he's also in a whole lot of trouble. And let me tell you, Rudy, they don't have hair dye in prison, so he needs to be calling Don't. a defense lawyer really fast. Okay, state attorney for Palm Beach County, Dave Ehrenberg, thank you very much for being on this.